farm loan waivers is it good or bad to our economy newly elected state governments have started giving farm loan waivers it was the same with the karnataka government too when the government changed after the npa issue farm loan waiver has become a big threat for the banks it's not that banks will lose this money because it is a government's decision and they will pay the banks while it will take time for the money to reach the banks and until that time banks will face liquidity issues along with this they will also have other problems like people who are wanting to pay or rightly paying now will start not to pay banks will not have money to lend to businesses that is where they get their income market borrowings will increase and trigger interest rate increases or even fuel interest rate hikes in the economy capital spend will come down and economic slowdown is going to be a likely possibility npas will increase in the farming sector in anticipation of a bailout on the back of all this is it necessary to do farm loan waivers why it was not done in the last 4 years and all of a sudden after the state elections now all of all these states have come to do farm loan waivers all of this brings down to one thought that is vote bank politics the people in the market are saying that taxpayer money is getting wasted by continuously giving farm loan waivers in spite of the farmers getting subsidized for all his needs in life yet he is not able to meet both ends by himself in a country like us where only 2% of population is dependent on agriculture and yet they are able to produce quantities which is in surplus to export even after meeting their domestic demands whereas in our country 70% of our population is in agriculture and yet we are not able to produce even for our own demand this is the thoughts by the people in the market let's keep aside all these thoughts and look at this issue in a different manner why is our farmer dependent our farmer is not able to generate income to meet even his own basic requirements through farming activity though there can be various reasons for this the top 5 among them would be one lower selling price are we paying the right price for the farm produce that we are consuming i was sharing this thought with one of my client the other day he gave me a very different view thanks to his views i thought it will be appropriate for me to share this here because it was very nice he asked me if the farmers together come to a decision that we will not produce rice this year because it is unremunerative for us what will happen there will be shortage and prices will skyrocket then will we buy or not we will for sure right take for example the petrol prices it went up from 58 rupees per liter to 80 rupees per liter in a short span did we stop consuming no right the same way we will also buy farm produce at whatever price it goes only that since we have not had such kind of a condition we are pretty comfortable and have always been complaining now coming to why the farmers are not getting the right price one of the reasons will be the middleman takes away major portion of the end price that we as consumers give for a commodity in the bargain middleman has a very good standard of life through the efforts of the farmer while the farmer remains poor as always two rain fed cultivation in our country if we see the farmers distress it is mostly prevalent in the southern part of our country northern side there is not much of this issue because water availability is throughout the year in the northern part of the country whereas agriculture in the southern side is fully rain fed rains in our country is only 50% certain that means every other year it fails in the years that rains fail farmers make a living only through borrowed money not from farming income we should in fact find a solution for the 
high water problem that is prevailing in the rain fed areas the third issue poor technology and wastage our farmers are not able to produce quality or quantity because of poor technology when their survival itself is a question mark where is the ask for technology which will only be a distant dream in this condition our farmers produce is getting compared in price with the global markets which actually is not fair then comes the herd mentality among farmers where all of them together select a single crop in a crop season and end up having huge supplies and bringing down prices where instead of making profits they end up lo- making losses year after year we see farmers dumping tomatoes across the road side on the national highways because prices have dropped to ridiculously lower levels this happens because we don't have adequate storage facilities where all the excess produce can be stored and consumed when there is a necessity while this will bring very good advantage for the farmers for their efforts fourth one small land parcels most of our farmers have smaller tracts of land which is not helping them have big earnings in many cases their earnings are between 15000 to 20000 per acre per annum in this scenario even if a family has 5 acres their annual earnings will be between 75000 to 1 lakh in the current situation this money is pittance which will not help them have even three meals throughout the year in such a condition they don't have chance of education nor recreation their community does not have any possibility to grow the fifth problem debt burden about 2 lakh crores have been spent by the government in the last 10 years to waive off farmers loans in spite of that our farmers are carrying huge debt burden and have been committing suicides most of the times they take loans at very high interest rates from private lenders and end up not able to pay them pressure brings them to make decisions which leaves their family into even higher distress so this being the five top problems let's look at what are the measures that could be taken to help farmers have a good livelihood one giving higher price for farm produce government bringing in msp or minimum support price was a very good decision while i happen to hear the chief minister of maharashtra mr devendra fadnavis talk on doubling farmers income where he said when government buys food produce at higher price they are actually losing because government does not have the talent to sell and make profit whereas corporates can come in to do this to do the same activity where they will have very high profit potential because they are well equipped to do a selling of products while farmers will benefit from higher prices second combining land parcels this chief minister also was talking about plans by the government to have platforms for the farmers who are having smaller tracts of land to sell their land through the platform which will give them transparency on price and transaction this will bring down people dependent on agriculture while urbanization and industrialization will take care of those farmers who are selling their land by giving them jobs again corporates can chip in here by getting into large scale agri- large scale agricultural businesses which will provide ben- be beneficial for the selling farmers and also the new owners with new business third water management developing ponds and small water storages across the area will help store water for future use while farmers cannot do this on their own it has to be done either by the government or it has to devise plans asking them asking the corporates to pitch in by doing their csr activities in these lines fourth technology upgrade setting up 
warehouses can be one of the very good business opportunity which the government has to encourage cooperative facilities that can help farmers have technology in cultivation like the initiative that itc has taken in their chaupal program where there is a visible increase in the lifestyle of farmers in those areas where the program is operational and also educating farmers on the future demand of the produce based on the data that can be collected about the crops getting cultivated in the individual belts which will be helpful for the farmers so that they will not cultivate the same products and end up having huge supply fifth access to funds instead of doing loan waivers creating incentives for repayment and awareness about prudent use of funds along with providing easy access to funds at appropriate rates this will help farmers not to go to private lenders and take loans at higher interest rates our view on loan waiver loan waiver is one of the ways to pay the farmer his price for his labor so tax payer money getting used for this purpose is not the right way to look at this in fact we are paying back the difference in price for the products we consumed through the efforts of these farmers if we had paid the right price while consuming then we would not have paid this much as taxes only that in this route the farmer does not get fully benefited in the name of giving back again our politicians take a big portion out of this payout let's look at it this way when you get big money all of a sudden what is that you are going to do go out and buy what you like right when the farmers get big money they do the same too only that their priority is liquor at the first place when liquor is sold government makes 30% by way of taxes on the sale value and liquor businesses are mostly owned by politicians where they get money for their election spent so loan waiver has become a way of transferring government money to party workers to fund elections it is not actually benefiting farmers in our opinion if right action is taken loan waiver is not at all a necessity while it might take some time before this can become a reality until then farmers might have to get paid through this route <coughs> for their right labor thank you